Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we will see how to use 3D Slash. 3D Slash is a very simple and basic 3D design software that we can access directly from the browser without the need to download any program. To access it, we just need to click the first link on the Google search like this. And once the page is loaded, we can already start to create an object. To create, just click on create now and you will be prompted to a page like this. Here we can choose the base of our modeling that can be a simple classic cube, an empty surface, an STL file that we will provide to the program, an SVG file that we will provide to the program and a text that we will write on the program. For simplicity, just to give you an overview of the program, today we will stick with the classic cube. Here we are in the interface. Starting on the top right, we have all the tools and options related to the file. Here we can save, or we can start a new model, or even use other apps or share to our social network account. But for now, let's just click here to disable any sound that the program is prompted with. Going below, we can see there are three different rulers. These rulers are used to give us a section overview of the object. The one on the right is for the vertical axis and the two below are for the horizontal axis. As you can see, by moving the ruler, the object is cut in this way. Moving on, on the left, we can see we have all these dots that represent the size of the tool that we are going to use. By selecting uh, the tool we want to use, we can select the size of which the tool will be, from 32 millimeters to a quarter of the total mass of our object. Now, let's see how we can model into 3D Slash. In fact, 3D Slash is a very basic software that allows us to modify a 3D object just by adding or subtracting to our object using the various tool like this. For example, now we have the armor and that is set to 8 millimeters and by using the left mouse click we can subtract from our shape like this. As you can see by clicking we just took off a little cube sized at 8 millimeter that will be removed from our object. By using the hammer we can just remove one cube at a time but by selecting another utilities of the program, we can just go um, faster. Like for example, if we use a, a chisel, we just need to select the face to remove an entire uh, layer of cubes. Moving on, we have the trowel that we will rebuild our shape. Next is the chisel that we already seen. And then the wall that will build an entire wall in the area we select. Moving on, we have the drill. As you can see, we have two different colors in our object. And this means that they are classified by the program into two different objects. And by using the drill tool, we can remove completely an object from the other. Now let's click on the red object and it will be removed from our base cube. Moving on, we have hold the option to modify the color. In fact, as I just said, by modifying the color, we modify the object property. Like for example, if, if we now select the spray bottle and make this part red, we will create a new object on top of the base cube we had before. Moving on, we have the bucket that will completely make an object of one color. Then the pipette to take the color from a specific object. Moving on the syringe to make hold the object even the insides of the same color. Moving on, we have the advanced option that allow us to uh, modify in further detail our object. First of all, we have the projector tool that uh, by clicking it allow us to um, project an image in one, on one of the selected faces. Like for example, we say that we want an image of for example, an heart projected on the left side. We select the image, we select the sides, we click OK and the image will be portrayed. Now using the other tools, we can just continue to 
design around the shape, like this, for example. We can make it into the 3D space. Moving on, we have the filler that will just fill the place which were previously cut with the other tools. Then we have the finger that will remove an entire layer of our desired size by just clicking on the layer itself. Then we have the select button that allow us to select a specific shape into our project. And to finish, here we have the shape tool that allow us to include a, another shape into our project like this. We click OK. And as you can see, we have a new 3D model into our basic cube shape. As you can see, we just added the basic shape of the pyramid into the basic shape of the cube. Moving on, we just have the colors that uh, we can select to modify our shape. And that's it. By using all these tools, we can now modify or basically modify an object into the 3D slash interface. To save our file, we just need to click here, save the model, and it will prompt us to register on the site. After we will register by inserting our email address and compiling the form, the file will be saved directly on the 3D slash cloud service. For this very basic video tutorial, that's all. For more videos like this, follow JBDTube.